NCS offers inmates psychosocial rehabilitation to address the maladaptive thinking and promote pro-social behavior. It also empowers inmates with education programs to assist them develop communication skills to be able to access support services at the facility. NCS also has a vocational training program to equip inmates with employability skills and access to market once they leave the facilities. Sarah Ilago, the founder of Turning Point Namibia, welcomes ex-inmates to her farm and mothers them while also providing them with the necessary training to become entrepreneurs and be in a position to provide for themselves and their families. Based on the information they furnish to us when we are getting to interview them, getting the information to do the assessment, the tools and the outcome will now direct at the relevant interventions that will be required for that inmate. What is actually causing the, the re-offending? Is it maybe our programs are not really addressing the, the, the risk factors we have identified correctly? Or it could be that even though we are doing our part as the NCS, the, 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 the one thing people need to understand is that we can also do only to a certain point. I try to tell them that stealing is not the answer and um, get frustrated of life is not the answer. The answer is create a job, become an entrepreneur. So we teach them in different ways how to do poultry, how to do gardening, and also how to do business. The challenges what they have is the trust of the society. The society don't trust them at all. And most of the time they keep on asking me, can you deal with that person? Is it possible that you can come right? The rehabilitation supervisor at the Ventuk Correctional Service, Commissioner Limbo Muchali, appeals to the nation to stop the stigma against inmates, as this in a way hinders full rehabilitation of the inmates. Stigma comes from us. We are the community. So if I have offended today and you are rejecting me, tomorrow it might be somebody that's close to you or it might be you. How would you feel? So it's also important that we try and educate ourselves because stigmatizing actually just makes it harder for a person to, to effectively reintegrate and rehabilitate. The extent of rehabilitation and reintegration also involves the community. It also involves external service providers coming to, to the play, to the table to actually help these inmates to maintain the change. Some inmates are behind bars because they have committed a crime intentionally but they are those who landed up here for a crime that was committed out of self-defense.